Backmore will cup this time Blunder from Team Canada versus Poaches from Team Europe for round two, aka quarterfinals. Are we here with RSOU? So looking at Blunder's team, uh, Mega Meta Gross, SD Gliss score. Um, I know he likes Calm and Clefable, and he doesn't really like using rocks on his clef, so I assume it's gonna be rocks on Mega Meta Gross. Uh, Command Clef could be Bolt Beam or it could be Ice Beam Moonblast. It definitely needs Ice Beam though to deal with opposing Gliscor. And Ladi is usually Choice Specs. I know that's the set that Blanda likes the most. And then the Magneton is probably Choice Scarf for some speed control. I assume the Gastrion is going to be Fizz Dev, either Leftovers or Rocky Helmet because yeah, that helps him check opposing Mega Metagross if it's Fizz Dev. And on Poja's side. Jellison usually runs like Taunt, Will-O-Wisp, Scald, Recover, I think. Either Leftovers or Cobra Berry. Uh, usually they're physically defensive to help with Mega Metagross. Uh, I haven't seen a Bishop in forever in Auras, but I assume it's going to be a SD variant. Maybe a Dreadplate is what I'm going to have. Yeah, I assume, I'm going to assume it's a Dreadplate variant. Then obviously, most likely Scarflanders for some speed control. Um, it could be Double Hazard, Ferrothorn, and then a Command Clef. Or it could also be rocks on this or on this and only spikes on this. But yeah, I assume the Clefable is going to be some sort of Calm and Clef. And yeah, Mega Metagross looking quite scary on both sides. Um, if it ever gets a Meteor Mash race, it can... Poges can... Metagross can break through the Gastron. And if Blunders ever gets a race, you can probably um, beat the Jellicent potentially. Um, yeah. What leads leads um, potential lead for Blunder is the Magnezone because it would cover Magnezone will lead off pretty well actually versus like almost everything other than the Landris. But I guess he didn't want um, Poaches to lead with Landris, so Blunder just gets up the rocks. Poaches gets good damage here on Blunder's Metagross, and yeah, we could maybe see Blunder switch it into Gastron. I don't know if he wants to risk um, losing the Speeder here and losing his Metagross to another Earthquake. I think Poges is just gonna click off quick again because even if Blunder switches into Gastron, he gets some damage off and he gets to see uh, what type of Gastron it is. And he has um, Clef, which can switch into Gastron pretty easy right there. So Poges is just gonna click off quick here. Even if he loses the speed time, Blunder gets off an earthquake on uh, Poges' Metagross. He doesn't mind that too, too much. Uh, his Metagross is still at full. So Blunder is either gonna try to get damage on the Metagross or he's gonna switch out into his Gastron. Uh, one of the two. I think Canada is up at the moment. I don't know the exact score in this series. But yeah, Blunder has uh, played all his round one games, obviously. Um, he already uploaded them on his channel, but I will still upload them on my channel eventually, sooner or later. But yeah, Blunder loses the speed tie. Um, sucks for him. Poaches. Metagross is still at full. And now Blunder is gonna um, either go Gastron or Magnezone. Um, because Magnezone is most likely going to be Choice Scarf. Yup, he goes Magnezone. This means he can Volt Switch out. Metagross obviously can't switch because of Magnet Pull. And he can Volt Switch out into his um, Gastrodon. And Volt Switch probably has like 35, uh, something like that. 30 ish. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Had Calking here. So he's definitely going to Volt Switch out because you obviously don't want to T Bolt and lose the Magnezone to an Earthquake. And I think Paul just could predict. Um, the Gastron here. If he has Zen Headbutt, he could click that because that's um, his best move to hit Gastron, probably. I don't think Grass Note Metagross is really a thing. But let's just go for Medium Mash um, in case Blunder. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's the best move to hit the Gastron. Or he was just trying to get a race. I don't know exactly. But now uh, Blunder can go for Recover or he can um, double out, predict in the Clef. Clef is most likely going to come out here from Poja's side. Uh, it's either Clef or Ferrothorn. Yeah, I assume Blunder's gonna double out because Earthquake doesn't really do much and there's not really a point in recovering. Um, yeah, because he's at 83 already. I mean, I said he could recover, but now that I think about it, that's probably not the play. So what would you double here if you predict the Clef? You could double into Magnezone or into Gliscor. Um, but I assume on Poge's side the Clef is also gonna be Ice Beam because this team is quite weak to Gliscor. Yeah, his team is weak to Glisco. Like, Metagross might have Ice Punch, but other than that, uh, Glisco is super annoying for him. Um, because Glisco runs a good amount of Spadef and Aura, so I don't know if, how much Jellicent Skull does to Glisco. Jellicent probably loses to it 1v1, especially in the long run. So his Clef definitely should be Ice Beam. Uh, so I don't know, Blunder can double into either Magneton or Glisco here. Doubles into Glisco, gets his Toxic Orb activated. And now he might want to scout for the Ice Beam here. Hmm. So, 
I don't know how Blunder beats this Clef, maybe with his own Clefable and we're gonna end it in a Calm Mind War. Uh, let's see if Porges has rocks off his CM. So he CMs, yeah, I assume he's just CM Ice Beam and then either Flame... Yeah, he's probably Flamethrower actually, now that I think about it. Could we Flamethrower... Devolt, Flamethrower... Probably Flamethrower on Porges' side because Mega Scissor is a threat to his team. Yeah, Mega Scissor can be a huge threat to his team. Other than Jellicent, he doesn't really have anything for it. Uh, Blunder scouts for the Ice Beam, good play going to his own Clef. Um, Props to Blunder there. A lot of pl I've seen like some people not scout for Ice Beam for some reason in in tournament games and World Cup. I think it was only once or twice though. But yeah, now um, Blunder's Clef is obviously going to be Calm Mind, um, and his only way of beating Poja's Clef. So if Poja doesn't want to play the Calm Mind, why well, he can go hard Metagross or hard into Bisharp? Because uh, Blunder's going to obviously Calm Mind up. Now Blunder's going to softball here, so Poja should definitely take this as a chance to uh, go into Metagross or Bisharp and threaten out the Clef. Um, because Blunder doesn't have another way of beating the Clef, he just has to comment and go for the comment war. But Poges has other ways to um, beat Blunder's Clef, which are Metagross slash Bishop. Bishop's Iron Head doesn't Oko, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, he does go Metagross, which makes more sense. Because Bishop's Iron Head, I'm pretty sure, doesn't do that much. Maybe like 85 to Clef, because Darren makes defense. With Magnus on anticipating the Meteor Mash. And uh, Poges gets the attack boost, so Blunder is either going to T Bolt or Volt Switch here. Um, I assume he's gonna Volt Switch because Magnus Zone is still somewhat valuable. And then he has to decide once what he wants to sack. He has to sack either the Gastron or the Mega La uh, or the Ladi. I said Mega for some reason, it's obviously Mega Metagross that's already dead. So the Ladi is most likely choice spikes on Blunder's side. There's a slight chance it's choice scarf. Um, but just from what Blunder has been using lately, it's always almost always been Specs Ladi, I think. So I assume it's just gonna be dead again. So Volt Switch probably is gonna come out and Either Lari or Gastron is going to be a sack. I think Gastron is good to keep though. Um, so he does sack off the Lari, there's the medium mesh and it connects and Lari obviously dies plus one medium mesh. Now Magnezone can just come out and pick this over the Volt Switch as he gets some more chip with that bullet punch. And now, um, what does he go to? Something... Like if he goes Clef here that lets the Bishop in, so I assume he's not going to go Clef, yeah. Goes a Gliss go. So Paul just has to go into his uh, Clef Fable here. And I think Poge is gonna. Um, Poge just got double into Bishop here, anticipating Blunder to go into Clefable. Oh, he goes Gastron. I don't know if Blunder just did that to get extra leftovers or if he predicted Poge to double, but I assume he just did that to get extra leftovers. And But now Poge is at plus two, so obviously Blunder has to go to his Clef and now Calm Mind up. Um, so Poge could go hard into Bishop here or he could just go for um, Ice Beam to. I think hard into Bishop is a good play. Because Blunder is forced to Calm Mind this specific turn and you can get the Bishop in for free here without taking a Moonblast. Because if you see him up then Poges can lose to Blunder's Clef if he gets hexed. Obviously Blunder is the same for both players, Blunder's Clef can also get hexed down. But Poges has the option to go Bishop here and do a lot of damage to um, Clef with Iron Head or threaten it out with Iron Head. Um, but he just decides to go for the Calm Mind War, okay. So now it's pretty much going to be whoever gets a crit or freeze first because I'm pretty sure both Clef have Ice Beam. I don't think I don't remember if Blunder's Clef already revealed it, but it's pretty obvious that it's going to have to be Ice Beam and um, either T Bolt or Moonblast. And Poges, in my opinion, has to be Flamethrower because he's quite weak to Mega Scissor. Um, I don't think Knockoff is common on Mega Scissor, but if Mega Scissor has Knockoff and the SD and Bullet Punch, it just destroys Poges', Poges team. <laughs> So yeah, definitely has to be Flamethrower Clef in my opinion, even though Noxus is not really seeing an Auras, I think. But I haven't really... I don't know. I think U-turn is more common. I don't know, I haven't seen Scissor much in Auras. But yeah, Blunder gets a freeze. This is exactly why... Um, yeah, Poe just should have gone into Bishop when Blunder brought his Clef in, because it was obvious that Blunder ha um, had to see him up. So this Clef um, is gonna do a lot of work. Pretty sure it can beat everything. At this point, because um, Bishop's Iron Head doesn't kill, which means I don't know what Poe just wants to go to. He loses his Clef. Clef, I'm pretty sure, doesn't beat. Pharaoh, pretty sure. I meant Pharaoh, not Clef. Pharaoh, I'm pretty sure, doesn't beat this Clef either. Unless it's T Wave Iron Head Pharaoh's Thorn, but I doubt it. So I think Blunder's just gonna Ice Beam here. It's gonna do a lot. It's a 2 KO. And yeah, Iron Jarable does nothing. And Jarable only has 8 PP, so Blunder can just soft bolt. Um, stall out the 8 gyro balls from Poges and then click Ice Beam again and pretty much end up with a healthy Clefable. It's well, I guess Poges might have 
if he has like um, power whip he can get some more chip on the clef but the clef is going to end up healthy enough to the point where it can probably live a iron head from bishop after it kills this pharaoh thorn so this is game this game is looking over uh poges landris is probably scarf with like earthquake u-turn knock off and explosion or um the last move could also be stone edge but talon flame hasn't been really common these days so i guess it might not be stone edge on the scarf landris uh it could if it's sd landris and he hmm. I don't know. I think it's definitely Scarf Landris. But yeah, Blunder. Just gonna softball again here. Keep Clefable as healthy as possible. Ferrothorn only has one gyrable left. And yeah, you obviously wanna be able to have the Clefable healthy. That way you can take Iron Head from the Bishop afterwards. And it's looking like Blunder's gonna pick up the win for his team. Because uh, his clef can definitely oko the bishop at plus six, so Pro just needs to go for the flinch on the clef, and even then, can Pro just win? Um, nah, Gl Glisco also is a huge problem for Pro just at this point. Even if the bishop is able to um, beat the clefable down for uh, with a flinch or with a crit, so I think Bonda has this game. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what he's thinking about. Maybe he's running some Kalx Poges, but pretty obvious to me that this game is over. So Blana's just gonna softball here. What can Poges do even? He's just gonna use his last Gyro Ball most likely. Um, I mean, not like Gyro Ball is, does anything. Like, if he keeps his last Gyro Ball, it doesn't really do anything for him. Oh, did he already use all eight? I didn't pay attention. I think he had one left, right? Um, but yeah, did Blunder show yet? I think he only showed Ice Beam, I think he didn't show his other last move, but there's a softball. Yeah, there's the last gerbil, and he's just gonna softball again, and we're gonna see now if Poe just has Power Whip or what he has. He, has, he just spikes up. Oh, so he is, he is double hazard Ferrothon, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Um, which means he had gerbil, spikes, rocks, and leech seed. So Landris is either gonna Earthquake, or if it has Explosion, it's gonna Explosion. So I think you always go for softball here if you blunder. The chances that this is a SD land are super low. This pretty much has to be a Scarf Landris. Because um, if the Ferrothorn was T-Wave, that could have been extra speed control for Poges, and then potentially it could have been a SD Lando, but nah, he doesn't have T-Wave or anything. He only has Bishop with Sucker Punch as speed control other than this. So this definitely has to be choice Scarf Landris. So you just click uh, softball here. Cause Earthquake doesn't do much, so if he locks an Earthquake, you see that, but if he goes for Explosion, then you want to softball it because you want to keep your Clefable healthy. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think it matters too much. You can also Ice Beam here in case you fear the Landers being a SD variant and you don't want to softball on an SD, um, but I don't think it... M I don't think there's a way this is SD Landers. So you could technically Ice Beam, but I think Softball is the play for Blunder. Hmm. And yeah, even if it's SD Landris, he, might, he still can kind of check it. Ah, I don't, I don't know. SD Landris might be, it's, it's gonna be a threat if it is SD and if he Softballs here, but it just has to be Scarf Landris. Just look at Polish team. It, there's no way it's SD Landris. Uh, so we're gonna see either Earthquake or Explosion here from Poges. And yeah, I definitely think Softball is the play for Blunder. Okay, that, they're taking a lot of time here. So I, I don't know, like I'm running out of things to say. So the other explode does 75 and Banner goes for softball and makes the correct play in my opinion because there's no way that's going to be SD. And now Bishop's Iron Head probably still doesn't kill. I said earlier that it wouldn't do it maybe 85 but it only does 72. This is max defense clev, wow. And yeah, now he just clicks Moonblast again and Jason can't kill the clev with Skull because it's a plus 6. And Moonblast is going to pick up the kill Bob and Blunder takes home the victory for Team Canada. 
And Canada's in a good position to make playoffs. There's gonna be a few more games later. Gonna bring you guys those games, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, well played by Blunder. I mean, the the, the, the freeze on Poja's cleft sucked, but in my opinion, he should have gone hard into Bishop when it was obvious that Blunder had to call mine. On that turn, he should have gone into Bishop. Not sure how that would have played out, though. But congrats to Blunder. I think he's 3-1 now in World Cup. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you still want to see Blunder's games from round 1. I know he already uploaded the replays to his channel, but I have them with the smoke to his chat, which is um, more interesting potentially for some people. And yeah, have a fantastic day, smash that like button if you enjoyed, and peace out friends.